Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, and we're going to talk about two-phase base building again. I made a video a couple weeks ago where I, I straight up said that two-phase base building isn't possible. And I received quite a few comments arguing that, yes, it, it is possible, you have to do it like this. So I built a base to test it out, and... I prestiged it a, a few times over, get some play testing on it. Now, I know that's going away. And for how a two-phase base build works right now, that is going to be a bit of a pain, but there's a workaround. Because you really need to kill the harvester, or it gives away the entire thing. Because the harvester will take the alternate path as opposed to the path you want the player to go down. Now I did a really good job disguising the harvester's path because I have three tombs and all of them are linked up down this hallway. So the harvester comes down the, this hallway and he eventually leaves but the way I help disguise this whole thing of Oh, people can leave is I've got arrows all over pointing go in here and the nice little T lighting for tomb and those are set up right by where the tombs are at so they hear it they see arrows they follow them to the door and then they just proceed into the base now for those who didn't follow it in and actually kind of followed the path out here a little bit I threw in a bunch of of random blocks just for the fun of it and to help disguise the path so people run out they'd follow that little path right back over to the T's and the arrows telling them to go in the door no one ever really managed to follow the path into the back door at least not that I noticed so really long path of course like I said, random blocks thrown everywhere just for the fact that I don't want a really noticeable path elsewhere. So eventually the harvester works its way around and in the back way. But we're going to take the front way first to, to try to show what I was going for for disguising the path to maybe make the raider think they're still going to backtrack. Now, of course, this room just set up normal traps. Another neat little trap that got quite a few people is spikes and then arrows coming at them. But I specifically left some areas empty where traps would likely go if they had to backtrack. And I think that's, that's a really key thing if you're going to attempt this. You need to have the illusion that they're going to have to come back. Now, this is the point where... I would prevent them from backtracking and it's full of I know a crap ton of corrosive cubes but there's no real traps there aside from the one arrow at the very beginning whoop de doo or bolt I mean now I have seen quite a few people like on the run back try to make it back through here as if this was the way they were supposed to go and yeah I guess really if I really wanted to make it a point, I would have made the ceiling corrosive cubes as well. But I totally put arrows here trying to tell them, no, 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 go back the other way. We'll continue to work our way through. Neat little spike. You'd be surprised how many people have been just brutally murdered by that pointless thing. Now that is there to help grab their attention. You know, maybe make them go back the other way just to see that, oh wait, I can't go back. And we got a couple enemies up here just to keep them entertained. But where things start to fall apart is before they ever touch the gen mat, they go exploring. Technically, I wouldn't want this path to open up until they've grabbed the gen mat. But I can't block this path off in any way or it messes up the harvester path and then it's not publishable. So I tried my best to disguise the path, but so many people just instantly 
walk down this path before ever touching the gin mat. You can walk through it and go, okay, well, I guess stuff's going to be spawning here and here. and uh, All right. And it just, it totally takes away from the two-phase. If they're in the, the two-phase area before two-phase is supposed to happen. And then, of course, you continue to work your way around. Not a whole lot going on here because I was really trying to keep the difficulty at normal. And if for some reason they backtrack and leave those two guards alive from the gin mat room, they will eventually work their way there. So, well, I, I, I get where people are coming from. Saying that two-phase base builds are possible. And telling me to build it this way. This isn't really a two-phase base. This is an imitation two-phase base. A legitimate two-phase base would have one way in, one way out. You could not go in the out or out the in. That's how it would work. Unfortunately, we just don't have the building pieces necessary to make that a thing unless you're building a social map. So, as for an official map, if you want to build something like this, it's mostly doable. Of course, the trap that kills, uh, putting traps that kill the harvester is going to go away. You're going to have to master killing the harvester another way to make that happen. Dropping, the, dropping an exploding enemy on them is one way to do it. But yeah, I mean, this is as good as you're going to get probably building a two-phase base. Hopefully it helps you out. Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, sub, and share later.